Do you have the audio going? Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay. Give it a minute. It's still loading. All right. We have a picture. All right. Good morning. Morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? I bet they're a lot less tired than me. No one could ever know how tired you are. Nixie is here. Hey, Misty. Autumn Rain is here and says good morning. Daniel Sketch Art says hi, Scott. Hello. And this looks like I, Jamie, says whoa. And now everybody's coming in. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Marguerite's here. I see a Marguerite. Hey, Dark Snowification's here. Oh, Erica's here. She's off today. Hi, hey, Erica. Erica. How you doing, friend? Brazen Spirituality says good morning. Hello, friend. Emma says hello from the middle of a field. <laughs> she slept in a tent last night. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, my gosh. Polar Motion hopes you have a great day. Thank you. I hope you do, too. Pro Depot says good morning from Ontario, Canada. Andrea says hi from the Philippines. Hello. So today's background music is Bear McCreary's Outlander Season 6 album. Please let me know if it's too loud or too soft. And let me know if you guys like it. You know Bear is... Our favorite. Our favorite. We love Bear, but... We also understand that, I don't know, sometimes the music gets crazy. I think uh, Wednesday's Little Women went over really well. So I'm hoping Bears. Um, Chiamaka says, good morning. You're my reason for keeping drawing. Oh, um, thank you. Akanshka says, hi from India. Hello. Um, DJ says, good morning, friends from St. Augustine. Oh, Toru says Kennedy. Kennedy is the best low-key one of my favorite artists of all time. Very underrated. Oh, Kenny Loggins? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I was really... Um, <sighs> Kate, Kate had some really good bands, um, but none that really stood out. And so many people asked for Kate Bush. But as somebody who lived through the 80s, we never heard any Kate Bush music. Um, you know, Running Up the Hill was not a big hit. I think it maybe hit 30 in America. So, uh, you know, that she was the most requested. And, uh, and I considered it, but I was just like, you know, I was looking at Kenny Loggins and how hit after hit after hit that he had. And I was like, we really got to give this guy credit where credit was due. He really had a lot of big hits. I'm just waiting for you. You're talking, talking, talking. It's oh, fine. Sorry. All you're doing is jabbering. Hello from California. Hello from Vietnam. Hello, Why do you go hello. live when I'm in school? Um, Azura official, we wait until we hear the bell from your school and then we go live. Yeah. Is he gone? All right. Are they gone? Um, Lula says, good morning from the land of the late. I hope you have a fantastically on time and definitely a lot two and a half hours behind day. Oh. You're funny. I'm sorry you're behind. Fernando We're Donato um, sent you a very nice tip. Oh, thank you. Um, you don't know me says hello from Japan. Hello. Emily says hi from Turkey. Um, love from the UK. Hello from Greece. Hi from Singapore. Hello from Italy. Hello from England. Um, hello from sunny California. Hello, hello, hello. Also, hello from Vietnam. Hi, good morning from Miami. I bet it's pretty in Miami right now. Um, trying to work up to my inking on my Bon Jovi piece, says Brandy B. Nice, hey, Brandy. Brandy, I've been watching your stuff that you've been posting. You've been posting some really beautiful art. I've been meaning to tell you, and I thought I commented on a couple of them, but you are really making some beautiful, beautiful art. So good for you. I love to hear that. Um, let's see. It's 
It's been a while since I've been here. Hope you're doing well. That's Pension. Good morning Thank from you. the Netherlands. Thanks for inspiring us. Hello from Pakistan. Hello, Pakistan. We drew, um, we painted Pakistan as a national we did. animal. Um, crafty cosplay girl. Um, in the gym eating breakfast before doing school. I'm glad I'm able to be here. We're glad you're here too. Um, Rolenix says hello from Transylvania. Thanks for all the good vibes. Ooh, hello from Transylvania. Hello Love from that. Zambia. Oh, Zambia. Mm-hmm. Um, so today is K. It's evening here in the Philippines. And tomorrow, or Monday. Oh, Bethany is not an incorrect statement when she says we need extra caffeine today. Um, we I'm, have... I'm trying to think of bands that start with L for Monday. And all I could think of is Lionel Richie and Loverboy. And I'm wondering what other bands are there that start with L. I'm sure you'll have lots of people. Um, this person says hello from my bedroom. <laughs> hello. Oh, Brandy says, thank you. You're both so kind as Bethany in the Second Breakfast Club. Yeah. You've been doing some lovely things. Um, you don't use overhand grip for sketching? No, no. I very rarely draw like this. Do you I... play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? Yes, yes. I, I am... Not right now. Yeah, not right now. But yeah, I've been playing since it came out. And I am doing all of the side quests. Poor... Well, not poor Zelda, but you know... Um, I, I've, I've fought the bad guy once. And there's a second battle. And, and I haven't gone to go do that yet. Because I'm trying to do all the side quests. Because when I played... Um, Lionel Richie for L. When I played Breath of the Wild, you know, like I kind of rushed through, saved Zelda, you know, finished the thing, and then the game ended, and I couldn't, you know, because I wanted to go and do all the side quests afterwards, and it wouldn't let me. It was like, sorry, game's over, and so now this time I'm doing all the side quests before I go and do the final boss. Simon Maskell says, hi, Scott, I've been loving this series. I've just graduated as an illustrator, and I'm finding it difficult getting into the world of work. Any tips? I was uh, I graduated as an illustration major too and, and I gotta say I've never really made a career of it it is um, illustration isn't it's very hard to do that uh, fortunately there are a lot of alternatives there's things like character design and storyboarding and um, you know, you can work in video games. Uh, and then of course there's stuff like what I'm doing, which is just uh, going online and I guess you could call this social media or influencer or whatever people are gonna call it. But um, I, I would say find something that you love to do. Uh, it could be comic books, it could be video games, it could be movies. <clears throat> um, find a, a, an industry. Uh, is the word I think I'm thinking of. Find an industry and then see what you can do about fitting into that industry. Okay. Um, there's a lot of people here from all over the world. Um, we do know about his Pooh Corner album. Oh, God, yeah, that's one um, of our favorites. Yeah. Um, Donna Burned Scott is everything. Oh, you know what? Okay, so short version, long story. I'm exhausted. Bethany's exhausted. All we ha have done for the last two days is ship posters. <laughs> and um, I am incredibly blown away that you guys love Scott's art so much that you want to, to have a poster. Yeah. However, I am completely overwhelmed. Um, yeah. Completely overwhelmed. And we were um, just weren't expecting it. Just to, I, it, to be clear, it's crazy. We did a Kickstarter last year for the hair journal. And that was a Kickstarter, which has a lot more um, publicity and, and, you know, you have people who are already on Kickstarter. And we only sold 600 of those sets. And so yeah. we weren't expecting more than, yeah. say, about 
Uh, you know, like a, a couple. When, like I said, Donna. Only when Scott ordered- says that I only ordered fifty tubes, he's not kidding. I thought, oh, fifty is a big projection for us of yeah. ordering something. So I got fifty tubes in, and then Bethany laughed at me because we were watching the orders come in, and I went, oh my god, what are we going to do now? And she we sold at- fifty in the first ten minutes. Yeah, and she texted me and said, well, you're gonna order. So Donna was like, okay, I'll <laughs> order another fifty. Yeah. (laughs) And then I said, maybe I should wait a little bit. And an hour went by and Bethany texted me and said, I think you need to order a thousand tubes at least. And I was like, you can't be serious. And we just kept watching the numbers. And then yeah, we really weren't expecting that. So no, not not at all. And it's it is. um, Yeah, it's crazy. Bethany goes. Meanwhile, Bethany has been saying order more, order more, order more. I'm giving you credit. I'm giving you credit. Yes, she wanted me to order more, and I said we couldn't possibly sell this many, and here we are. Um, can you guys see this? Okay, I can even look this up. We can see it fine. I'll let you know if it's not visible. I always do, sometimes. Um, which member of Queen are you going to paint for Q? Uh, you know, um, Freddie is the most iconic. I've drawn him so many times. Um, He's not a handsome guy. <laughs> uh, I could do um, Brian May, uh, but uh, honestly, we'll see. We'll see. It, it might just be Freddie. But, you know, Queen was... I don't know. Queen, Queen was semi-big in the 80s. Okay, we're moving on because you're too slow today. Have you ever used mannequins to reference posing? No, but sometimes I might use one of my action figures. What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Um, Human Nature. Difference between gouache and watercolor. There's a video on that, but gouache is more opaque. That means you can't see through it. Um, oh, the tea of the day. Sorry, Mia, I didn't get that far. Uh, I have one cup of the Harrods tea, and I have another mug with this new tea I found from Trader Joe's. It's an organic Assam, and it's really good, surprisingly. I don't typically do tea bags anymore, but it's really good. And it's only like $3.99 for a box or something. It's pretty reasonably priced. Um, oh, it was raining by Galactic Pencil this morning. You're lucky. It's been hot, hot, hot here. It was 100 degrees yesterday. It was ridiculous yesterday. Um, literally ridiculous. Oh, level 42 and LL Cool J says Brandy. Oh, level 42. Level 42. Literally. You have the 45 sitting in front of you. Yep. Literally have the 45. Um, LL Mm -hmm. Cool J though. I've painted both. I've painted LL Cool J before. Um, the Rubik's guy has watched every one of your videos and wanted to ask, how would you learn to draw if you could start over? Uh, I would um, draw the world around me. I would draw everything every day rather than, tr- like when I was a kid, I would draw from my imagination. And that that just, you, you don't learn from that. And, uh, and you get frustrated really easily. So I would do that. I would keep a journal and draw the world around me. Um, what's your opinion on d and I, I liked it in the 70s. I didn't really play it since. I've tried a couple times, but, you know, it's hard to find. I tried to get the family to join me during the pandemic. Not gonna and, happen. Yeah. Um, Sasa says, Gothic Vampire doesn't ship to where I live. If it did, I would have bought it. Love your art so much. I aspire to be like you one day. Oh, thank so, you. I'm sorry. I'm going to interject. Scott's just going to apologize profusely. And I'm just going to interject and say, there are just some countries we can't ship to. And we are sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. So, um, yeah. We actually sent out... A painting, a free painting, one of the free Spider-Man paintings, and it came back to us. Yeah, this it happens and it was, to us sometimes. Yeah, yeah and it we, was to Europe, and I was like, I'm sending you a free painting, and it came back to me, and yeah. it's just very frustrating. We will spend thirty, forty dollars on yeah. shipping, and then forty three dollars back to us. Forty three dollars, yeah. and it comes back, and it's like that's just a lot. So I will tell you to please, if you do order a poster, make sure your address is correct, pretty please. Um, you once said your grandfather and grandmother were Iranian. Do you know how to speak Farsi? I don't. My uh, my grandparents were Assyrian, mm-hmm. 
and um, so I heard a lot of Assyrian mm -hmm. uh, in in the house, but I never picked it up. Um, let's see. I saw your video with acrylic markers from Artex, so I wanted to know what paper you used for the Artex. Um, you can use the Artex on pretty much anything, really. Uh, it, it's it's really good on stuff like plastics. So yeah, you, you did know, you want enjoy something that a little yeah. smoother. You know, I, I use them on the records, um, which was, you know, hit and miss, but uh, I, I would say maybe like a hot press paper. You think something smoother? Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Dark Snowfications almost to 40 followers on TikTok. Yay! Hey, that's great. Um, Christine loves your videos. Thank Have you. Have you tried ceramics? I think we had like a class in high school or something like that where we did, um, and it was fun. Scott has done digital art. There's videos on that. It was not successful. <laughs> um, Joanna is making a comic book. Do you have any tips? Oh, um, when I did my first comic books, um, I just went straight to the visuals because, you know, I, I, and, mm -hmm. and then I kind of like had an idea of what I wanted the characters to say and everything. And um, that was okay, but really it got better once I actually wrote it first because I, I wanted so bad to just do the art. And uh, so I would say write it first, get to know who your characters are. Also, finding out who your characters are helps you design their costumes and their personalities and their hairstyles and everything like that. So, um, yeah, that's what I would say. Okay. Um, what's your favorite hairstyle? Love from Hong Kong. Um, I don't really have a favorite hairstyle other than just long hair. I mm. like to draw long hair. Shannery says, one of my favorite things to do in the morning is see your lives and drink a cup of tea. Thank you for making my morning. Oh, Aww. thank you. Cheers, Shannery. Cheers. Ryan says, wife is pouring me my first cup of coffee of the day. Happy. Uh, that's, a, that's a good wife right there. Yeah. You tell her I said that. Pouring you coffee. That's a good wife right there. Um, Dalton would like to know if you could show them your full watercolor palette. Yeah, here it is. Can you see it okay? I can see it fine, but I live with you. I'm saying in the video. Oh, yes, I can see it fine. <laughs> um, let's see. We did that one, we did that one, we did that one. Oh, Dana's here. Hi, Dana. Hey, Dana. Good morning, friend. What's your favorite art piece you've ever done? Besides all the things you've painted of me. Um, probably the Animal Crackers movie poster, though the uh, gothic vampire is slowly becoming a, a <laughs> top two. Patrick goes, LOL, 100 degrees. That's cute. I'm in Phoenix. That's a cold oh, snap for us. Oh, gosh. Dude, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. What is it, like 125 in Phoenix right now? Gee whiz. I'm so sorry. We have the humidity though. And as somebody who who is from California and used to be like, we used to have the drier heat, the humidity just kills me every time. I hate humidity. I, can't I don't notice it. it. Yeah, he doesn't know. Well, you grew up in Florida. So it's yeah. like, he's like, la, 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 la. This is a nice day. And I'm like, I can't breathe. Um, Yeah, it's bad. Have you ever gotten bored of drawing? Oh yeah. I literally took 10 years off it was it was maybe not bored of drawing so much as I hated my art. Burnt out. Yeah. Um, can you maybe give one or two tips for learning anatomy? Um, figure drawing, I think, is the best one. And I did a, a five-day, one-minute figure drawing post of set of videos a few weeks ago. I would look at that. 
Does the paper texture affect pencil sketches by a lot? Yeah, yeah, it really does. Um, you yeah. can see, yeah, you can see the difference in the texture. Can you see that? Yeah, there. Thank okay, you. Okay, this is really super bumpy, bumpy and, mm -hmm. and it affects not only the pencils, but it affects the uh, watercolors. The watercolors. It affects mm -hmm. the pens. Mm -hmm. The watercolors it affects in a good way. The um, pencils and the pens, not so much. Um, oh my god, you guys. Um, um, where are we? Um, it's so cool to see your art while you make it. I tried to do my best to try your style, but it was so hard. Oh, it, it, it'll... That's... Mooney. Give it some out. time. It'll it'll click. I promise. Um, I do believe we ship to Morocco. Yes, I believe so. Um, Lost in the bliss says, I don't think there is a need to apologize. Purely sharing your art on the internet is enough for some people, even though sadly some people cannot get a physical copy. Yeah, you still feel bad, but we feel bad until we've rolled four hundred eighty-seven thousand posters, <laughs> and then we're swearing at the posters because they won't roll themselves. <laughs> god scott has done digital art there's videos on that um let's see there are videos on how to draw hair um so you can check that um i'm in the north and it's certainly 67 degrees it has been a rainy cool summer by me it's odd as normally it is so hot and feels like i'm gonna melt hmm interesting yeah russ said it was gonna be in the 60s today in connecticut yeah, well, in the Pennsylvania, it's the same thing. That's, that's what That's what uh, our other kid said. Do you have any tips for painting skin with gouache? I think there might be a video on it. Um, I think I paint Santa in gouache. Oh, I think you did. But I usually start with my mid-tones and then shadows and then come in with the highlights. Yeah, Scott's not going to draw with his left hand. He's I did, hard enough time drawing with his right hand. I did do one with my left hand, the Batman one. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, you should, you should be able how to find you, it. It was maybe... How um, did you start with gouache? Um, I just kind of just jumped right in. And uh, I think the first painting I did in gouache was Gandalf. Yes, we shipped to Europe. Um, we can't ship to Russia because there's an embargo on that. We can't ship to somewhere in the Middle East. Um, there's quite a few countries that the U.S. government doesn't want to ship to. Uh, what made you want to make art professionally? Spider-Man. I wanted to be the artist on Spider-Man. Um, may I ask where you got the bracelet things on your wrist? I really want to know. Oh, thank you. There's actually a video uh, on it. Um, I, it's from maybe a month ago. But I talk about uh, each one. But they're from different places that I've traveled. Just, mm -hmm. you know, while you're here. Do you have any tips on colored pencils? Um... I treat them the same as I do like gouache, which is you work from your mid-tones to your shadows and then your highlights at the end. Um, there are, I think there's a colored pencils playlist. Mm -hmm. um, I just got a vampire print last night. Thanks for restocking. I'll make an unboxing video when I get it. That's oh, the young collector. Thank okay, you. Okay, we please know that we are trying to ship as fast as we can, but we only have two hands each and it is a lot of work to ship them without, you know, Scott has to sign them all and we have to ship them all. So we are able to ship about 250 to 300 a day. And I currently have about 1400 outstanding orders. <laughs> um, so we are doing the first orders, like the earliest orders first and working our way through the list. So yeah, we're a little overwhelmed, but we no, will no. get through. The we are a lot overwhelmed. <laughs> we are a lot overwhelmed. I believe in Donna and Bethany. Yeah. I know that they can do it. Well, Bethany's amazing. And I will 
tell you this, not just because she's one of my dearest friends on the planet, but this woman comes over with a smile on her face the last two days. And when I say a smile on her face, like, I mean, she's grinning from ear to ear because okay. she loves to ship. But, but you have to understand that uh, Donna is the literal opposite. Oh, I am. I was going to say that. Grumbling oh, I am cursing. Cranky. And... I open the door and I'm like, stupid, the shipping. And I don't know how we're going to do all this. And, blah, blah, and you know, and she bounces in the door and she's like, good morning. I Let's think, just I ship think, everything. And I think the solution is you need a tea. Aura. Um, I have one. I have one. It's in the it's in the cabinet. I think I should wear one today. Um, where do you get your paint brushes from? Uh, the ones that I'm currently using were from Blick. They're made by uh, Utrecht. Um, we need a separate tutorial on just how to paint hair. I think haven't you done stuff on how to paint hair? Well, not painting hair, drawing hair. Um, I've got a few uh, where I talk about J.C. Leyendecker's um, approach and how he uses shapes. And um, But I do hair differently depending on the medium. Like mm -hmm. the hair I do with markers is different than the hair I do with watercolors, which is different than the hair I do with gouache, which is different than the hair I do with uh, colored pencils. Dana Mercury says, can confirm Bethany is a goddess. That is correct. And Nixie says, the tiara makes all the difference. That is true. Ellen, tiara power. Yep. Um, what album slash soundtrack is playing today? It's very nice and calming. Oh, good, good. It is uh, Bear McCreary's uh, Outlander Season 6, courtesy of our friends over at Sony. Um, what is that watch on your hand? This... Oh, that's just an Apple Watch with a thicker band. Yeah. Um, okay, so sometimes I bounce around in the comments. I'm trying to read them from the bottom up like we had talked about before, but I missed some things. And there... Get the tear out of the cupboard. Steph, you're funny. Um, I try to read them from the bottom up, but they move a lot. And then when Scott decides he's going to be really chatty about something, then I miss some. So I go back and I find the ones that I really like... They're important questions that people should um, answer. Okay. Um, the mods became mods because they were friends of ours from the very, very beginning when we um, started on TikTok. Jeez, and there were like 13 people that were on our lives. And yeah. these are actually friends of ours. Um, Crafty Cosplay says, my sister came in and asked what I was watching live because she recognized Donna's voice. And oh, she said, oh, it's Donna. That's so funny. That's cute. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Um, you guys are so funny. Um, All right, do you have any tips on how to keep working on an art piece and not giving up after finishing a certain part? Um... As you guys notice, I work on these and I, they take me 90 minutes. Um, so Give or take. Yeah, so for me, doing smaller pieces helps me with my attention span. But then, every once in a while, you do want to work on a larger piece, like the Gothic Vampire. Mm -hmm. And for that, what I do is I'll work for 20 minutes and then I'll go do something else. Yeah. And then later on, when I feel like I'll come back and I'll work on a little bit more. And, I'll come, and, and, and I just do that. And... Sometimes, you know, like my corner of shame, some of them are pieces I just got bored of and I never went back to. Other mm -hmm. times I just realized I don't really like it that much. That's the problem mm -hmm. with bigger pieces is, you know, you invest hours and hours and hours and then you realize, eh, I don't really like it that much or I don't really want to finish it. That happens. It happens to every artist. So I don't really have advice on how to avoid that other than don't do bigger pieces until you really, really, really want to. Or maybe you you come up with a design that you know that you really really think you're gonna want to finish. So maybe that's it. You sure? Yeah. You got that now? You good? Okay. Um, Gail sent you a tip and said, "I see we're on a highway to the danger zone today." <laughs> Shout out to the mods for being awesome. Thank you, Gail. Um, let's see. 
I could not have kept up with my art without your videos at one point. I almost gave up due to my depression, but you inspired me again, and now I'm starting an Etsy store for my art. Thank wow, you. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Robert Kennedy would like to know if you have any tips for hands, and I would have to reply, he probably doesn't. Yeah, I hate drawing hands, but I did make a video on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... We're going to move over to cup two, and let's hope this cup wakes me up because I'm still not there. Um, what to do with alcohol markers? Whatever you would like to do. There is, an al there is a markers playlist. Mm -hmm. um, you might need an extra Bethany for when these 80s posters go on sale. Okay. Yeah. Seriously, we are taking a break before we do these 80s posters because Donna's going to need to breathe for a little bit. Um... I don't know if you have a favorite that's in the corner of of shame, do you? No, none of them are. I mean, my they're favorites. in the corner of shame for a reason. I, uh, you know, there are some that I really would have liked, um, but uh, they just didn't click. Um, let's see. What is your favorite part of a drawing? Mine is inking. Uh, mine is finishing the drawing. I just I like that. And I'm done. I like that that feeling. Oh, I forgot to do the um, the water first. The water thing. Yeah. Mm, this will be interesting today. Do you like walking or hiking around in nature? Um, I like walking, not necessarily in nature. Um, I like walking on a beach. I think is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Me too. Um, how do you know when to put thicker or thinner lines when you're putting ink over your sketch? I did a video on that, um, but essentially a lot of it is the thinner lines are where things are lightest and the thicker lines are where things are darkest, where there's the shadows. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's when you're doing like a portrait. I also use thin and thick lines for scenery. So the thinner lines are in the distance and the thicker lines are in the foreground. So it kind of gives you a sense of uh, directing your eye to the more Mm -hmm. The thicker lines, the more bolder. Um, I need to blow dry. Oh. Blow dryer! Okay, hold on. Go ahead. Steph, you are 100% correct. I need a pot of coffee and a straw. Maybe a pot of espresso. Oh, Erica, you're so sweet. <laughs> Ocean, I don't think I want to find that out. The question was, if you guys didn't see it, what would happen if you didn't have tea in the morning? Unblow dryer. Unblow dryer. Ocean asks, what would happen if you didn't have tea in the morning? <laughs> She'd murder me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think we want to find that out. I really don't. And not for anything I would do, just... No, no. She's he would just, he would say, good morning, honey. I love you. And that would be it. She's just naturally homicidal. Oh, I am so bad in the morning. Oh, my God. So bad in the morning. Any tips of dealing with anxiety? Um, gosh, so many. But uh, the best thing that's helped me uh, was therapy. Yeah, I agree with that one. I journaling. Journaling um, has been a lifesaver for me. Um highly recommend it but you know like for me anxiety is really bad for just leaving the house and mm -hmm. um it was something mm -hmm. that you know despite a lifetime of trying to get past it and work through it um i was just it was just getting worse it wasn't even getting better mm -hmm. and so i this year i started doing therapy mm -hmm. what's your favorite medium I think this, this right now is my favorite. I think, um, I, you know, I... What, what is this? Watercolor and ink. Thank um, you. I tend to get bored, so I'll go, oh, I just feel like doing gouache today, or I feel like doing some markers today. But then I come back to this. This feels comfortable, I think. Does Donna know how to draw? Yeah, she doesn't like to. And uh, mm -mm. she's not that great at it, but... Mm -mm. I like to write. 
Writing is my passion in my journal. I really enjoy that. I, you know what I've really enjoyed is that, that art journal I started. Good. Like doing a lot of collage and stuff like that. I don't have time right now. Just remember, anybody can draw. Mm -hmm. And anybody can draw good. It's just where you put your time into it, how much mm -hmm. practice you put into mm -hmm. it. Donna could be a great artist if she wanted to, but it just doesn't really interest her. Mm -mm. No, but I write every day, and I love it. I love it, love it, love Blood it. Blow dryer. Oh, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Scott does not play an instrument. Um, there is a whole playlist for alcohol markers. Our day is going fine. We're tired, but fine. Um, let's see. Any tips for publishing a graphic novel? Um, any tips for publishing a graphic novel? Um, are you self-publishing or do you have a publisher that you're doing with? Yeah. I mean, if you're self-publishing, mm -hmm. you're just going to have to research, uh, companies that do printing mm -hmm. and you're going to have to invest your own money into it yeah which is a it's expensive it is you're talking thousands if not yeah. tens of thousands of dollars yeah. and shipping is a lot and getting it through customs yeah. is a lot yeah but um it's it's worth it i loved self-publishing um because you get to control everything you know <laughs> he loved self-publishing because he didn't ship things donna really i don't like shipping shipping is not I don't. I don't you enjoy it. You married the wrong person. Then. I did. I really did. I really did. You know, I think Bethany was right. I think the crux of my problem is I've been shipping for, how long have we been married? 30 years. And when I first started shipping, we did not have things like the shipping platforms that we do today where you can input your information and boom it spits out a label with the correct amount of postage on it and you slap the label on yeah, it and you, you just go. literally I hand go to wrote the, labels yeah. for years. So I think there's a little PTSD going on there for my original shipping stuff. <laughs> but um it is significantly easier, but when you have such an influx of orders it is a little overwhelming. Do you prefer sketching, inking or painting better? I think I like the painting process better because huh. Um, it means that I, we're closer to being done. Yeah. But also, you know, um, the, the painting process is not as stressful because the, the groundwork is done. Now talking about watercolor, the painting process is just as stressful when I'm doing gouache because all of my pencil work is going to get covered up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you also seem to get, like, I notice when you're painting, and this is a little behind the scenes, he looks at me more when he's painting with gouache. Like, am I doing okay? Does it look okay? Is it all right? You do, you do that. You look at me more often when you're painting with gouache. Because the, you can than, lose the drawing, and so you yeah. lose your likeness. You lose, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Blow dryer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm slow today. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Um, Scott does exercise. Um, oh, I'm so glad you like Teddy Bear Dreams, Daniel. That's exciting for me. We published that a long time ago before our boys were born. Scott's favorite color is Payne's Gray. Um, Mr. Gregor, I think the Artex markers um were pretty reasonably priced for the chisel tips um if you guys are looking for tips for watercolors or inks or anything check out the art hacks playlist um and scott would not like the tombow brush pens they're not waterproof that's not something that he would use um what's your favorite painting or drawing of donna that you've made good boy um, no, thank you. The one, one up, that girl. I did, uh, New Year's Eve, nineteen eighty-nine. Was it eighty-nine or eighty? Oh, where I'm sleeping. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're sleeping. <laughs> Marguerite intravenous espresso. That would be accurate. Oh yeah, pretty pleased. Coffee in an IV. Is Donna the one reading the comments? Yep, 
If so, I want to tell Donna or whoever is reading the comments that she's doing an amazing job. I can understand her reading so many comments must be hard. Thank you. Um, reading the comments is, is actually, I, I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody. That's really all. Um, I do have my own YouTube channel. Oh, steps. I've got my big, big mug today. It can fit a venti and still have room. Oh, the Eeyore mug is the lifeline. You and me both, girl. I am two fisting it today. Um, I don't know if you know what type of autism you have. Do you? Is there a, more than one type of autism? Um, yeah, no. I mean, we. I don't think they said there's a type. Um, anybody know if there's different types of autism? I don't know. Uh, the mods are volunteers. I thought there was levels. Yeah, I wish I could pay the mods, but they are volunteers. Yep. Um, tips or tricks to creating an art channel. Also, congrats on the gothic vampire painting. Oh, thank you. Um, consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency and doing what you love. Yeah. Post on a regular basis. Mr. Mike Photography says, good morning, friends. Good morning. And Ellen's here. Say good morning to Ellen. Hey, Ellen. Um, one up girl looked it up and says, in case you want to know, Kenny has brown eyes. Oh, dark, thank you. Dark brown eyes. Yeah, this photo has, you know, is pretty good for that. So that's good. Blow dryer. Oh, that's me. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, go ahead. Um, okay, Alex, Scott answered that. He likes the painting the best out of all of those. We buy the watercolor paper from Blick. Guy, I completely get that. I've been to therapy for anxiety as well, and it is very difficult. Mm, Nemesis, that's so great. You're doing art again. And blow dryer. Ellen says, finally caught the Outlander theme in the background. Good levels today. Yay. <laughs> Any tips for young artists who are struggling with art block? Yes, there's a video on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I would watch that, but essentially get inspired by other artists. Mm -hmm. That's the best way that I found for myself. Mm, Kermito, listen to Nixia. Don't get in trouble in school. They're watching during geometry class. Ooh. Scott did try oil pastels and... It didn't go well. It did not go well. I would recommend uh, watching my friend uh, Blackbean, Christian Scott. Actually, isn't that great? Blackbean's name is Christian Scott and mm. my name's Scott Christian. So talented. Yeah. They are really talented. Uh, would you be interested in painting miniatures? I don't think so. I've got a friend who's much better at it than I am. He's Blow got one dryer. of those big giant magnifiers yeah. too, which I don't even know how you do that. I can barely see my own stuff in front of me. I have tried knitting and I do enjoy it. I actually have a scarf on the knitting needles right now. Um, no, Scott's never done 2D animation. He's done 3D. Do you know any non-online stores that sell the zebra brush pen? No, because we buy ours from Jet Pens. I don't know. Um, you you can check and see. Um, a art store, like a um, art store in your area, would probably carry them. Scott likes drawing people. Hold on. Go ahead. So the 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 I don't even know what to call it, but the layers of color. Kind of giving me an 80s vibe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's kind of funny. I have tried crocheting. It's too hard for me. Knitting is way easier. Way easier for me. Two needles makes more sense than one needle for me. Do you know what the oldest art supply you have is? Um, I have a paintbrush from my uncle. That was probably from the 50s. Um, Christian is his middle name, unless I'm mad at him and then it all runs together. Um, 
I can't wait to watch the lives. Geometry class is boring. You need to pass no, no, no. geometry I got class. You there. Geometry, you'll never use geometry in Scott! life. Scott! I'm just saying. Oh my god. You never use this stuff in real life. Um, someone uses it with his engineering stuff all the bloody time. That's our kid, and he's a nerd. Oh my god, don't call him a nerd. He's he can't help it. listening. Logan, you're a nerd. Oh my god. <sighs> um, yeah, I, it is too hot to knit in the summer, I think. Yeah, I agree with that one. Yeah, I don't want that sitting on my lap in the summertime. Um, do you listen to Slipknot? I don't even know who that is. No, I've never really listened to Slipknot. Um, tips on blending for graphite pencils. There's a video on that, um, drawing realistically, and uh, but mm -hmm. I like to use the smudge stick. Do you have any tips for painting in a more cartoony style? <sighs> Copy cartoonists that you really like. That's my best tip for that. Um, I think Shannery wants to ask what is your process, skin process for coloring with alcohol markers, watercolors, or acrylic paint? Um, I've, I've got videos, um, with markers, colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Um, I did do one with acrylic paint. I'm not really very good at it, but you can, you can go and watch them. And hopefully that will will help. Um, do you have any tips on drawing perspective buildings? I'm yes, currently there's a doing video that in school and could use some help. There's a video on that as well. Um, you got to do Michael McDonald next. Uh, well, he's gonna fall into M. And M is, Michael I mean, you're Jackson. competing with Madonna yeah. and Michael Jackson. There's a lot. Metallica, you know, there's a lot. Um, Michael McDonald's great, but... Uh, um, Scott has drawn me so many times. Um, yeah. I'm, there's a video on that. God, so many times. Um, I love the way you're sculpting the, the light on the face with these layers, Scott. That was Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. I'm still not sold on it. It's kind of like a weird experiment, but, you know, well, we'll see. Um, Blow dryer. Oh, man. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, Scott's not going to try knitting. That's not his wheelhouse. Um, Brazen Spirituality says, sorry, Scott is wrong. I use geometry to calculate volumes and compare products and a few other practical purposes in my everyday life. Mm -hmm. Foiled again. Foiled again? Oh, no, you're not unmuted. Thank you. You didn't say unblow dry. So say it again. Unblow dry. No, no, no. The curse is foiled again. Curse is foiled again. There you go. Um, Stefner says, I'm a nerd and I need it for cake stuff. I'm surrounded by nerds. <laughs> Bethany, I don't have to yell your middle name. I just look over at you and give you the look. Um, let's see. Um, yes, I have tried knitting stuffed animals. Scott has one in his drawer. They made him a little alligator a long time ago. Um, Chase says, my boyfriend and I are software developers and he uses geometry all the time in his work. Oh, people are <laughs> schooling you hard this morning. Crocheting without a needle or a hook is easiest for me. How do you crochet without a needle or a hook? How do you do that? It's black magic. Seriously, I've never heard of that before. How do you crochet without a hook or a needle? Like, what is that? Yeah, I don't get that. 
J English, you need to explain this to me. I don't understand. How does that work? Hmm. Um, what medium are you using? This is watercolor on hot press paper with uh, ink. Knit with cotton or bamboo in the hot season. They make yarn out of bamboo? Really? Okay, I never knew that. I gotta look this up. Bamboo yarn. Hmm. Interesting. What's it usually made of? Cotton? Um, wool. Wool. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know that, Marguerite. Maybe Thanks it's a for... brand of yarn that's called... I can't believe it's not wool. Oh, jeez Louise. Do you see what I have to put up with? Um, what in the heck of all the monarchs of Britain is geometry class? It's a math class where you learn about angles. Um, Donna, do you have anxiety and any tips to help get over it? Um, yes, I do have anxiety. And um, I came out of the pandemic with a lot of anxiety. Blow and, dry. Um, I am now going to get blow dried over. Hold on. Go ahead. Um, I journal a lot and I did therapy and I'm on, um, anxiety medication. So the trifecta of everything, but, um, the journaling has helped me a lot. Yeah. Scott's not going to do a one color thing. Um, let's see. Are you considering Olivia Newton-John for the letter O? Um, yeah, that's a good one. Though I've been getting a lot of requests for Oingo Boingo. <gasps> yes, Oingo Boingo. Dead Man's Party. Ah, stop shaking. What are you doing? I got to shake it up to get the stuff. Not the over stuff. the top of the painting. It's, the lid's closed, honey. Yeah, that's what you said about the orange. I didn't say that. Ink. I didn't say anything. When it... That's right. You didn't say anything. And then what happened? You Gluey. spilt it everywhere. It's still on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> a lot of people are saying that people don't say the um, talk about Asperger's anymore. They just say autism. Um, oh, yeah. No, Asperger's is considered like a lighter or you know was it like a was lighter version. it's not yeah. they don't use that anymore but no um, I'm, i definitely have it more than what asperger's it's it's um i think asperger's was considered on the border it was a social thing it was like social yeah um, yeah no you I'm, don't understand I'm, social cues i'm in a bit deeper than that a bit um yeah, considered out of date. People just fall somewhere on the spectrum of autism neurotypical. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I think even... I I almost don't like labels at all, but I do think that um, there's something to be said for understanding where you are um, with things and that I think even neurotypical people can have things that they deal with but i think the biggest thing is for everybody to just be kind and understand that other people may have sensory issues they may have you know anxiety issues or whatever and just to be nice to yeah. everybody else well, i think it's wonderful that the world as it stands now or at least you know as it's going is mm -hmm. people are allowed to have that latitude mm -hmm. for these things without yeah. being ostracized. Gosh, without, we didn't have that in the no. 80s. It was like, you know, you got slapped well, there, there and was no, down. There and, was no autism back no. then. You know, it wasn't no. like, no. and so no. that there, there was no diagnosis. There mm -mm. was no, you know, unless mm -mm. you were like, you know, like nonverbal, you know, blow dryer. Cyrus wants to know if I have my own place in the Hobbit hole for lives. I don't have my own place in the Hobbit hole. The Hobbit wouldn't give Mrs. Hobbit a place in the Hobbit hole, so I sit at his desk, cause he's mean. I said, oh, this is such a pretty place. Can I have a space in here? And he said, no. I 
I don't understand how you could use your fingers to crochet. That 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 baffles me. I don't understand that. Um, <laughs> I'm surrounded by nerds. Says the biggest painting nerd on YouTube. <laughs> Um, let's see. How do you select which person to paint next? Uh, I listen to what everybody says and then usually just ignore it. Mm -hmm. But uh, He does. No, and then I, he asks my opinion and then he ignores that. No, I, I... A lot of it is um, who I listened to when I was, you know, a teenager. Mm -hmm. And then the other part of it is I'm looking at it as a whole. So I'm looking at it, thinking of it as a poster. Mm -hmm. Do you want to mute me? Okay, you do. Yeah. So I'm thinking of it as a poster and I'm going, okay, do I really want to have a bunch of men? You know, so, okay. So I need to make sure that I include women because yeah. I liked both men and women. Uh, and then I go, okay, do I really want a bunch of white people? Okay, I need to include people of color. And so I, I'm thinking <coughs> of things me. like that. So there's, mm -hmm. there's, when you're when you're looking at it like that, you're mm -hmm. you're trying to see it as uh, not only the things that you liked, the music that you like, people that you like, mm -hmm. but also who's got really good hair that I might like to paint. Mm -hmm. um, what's going to look good as a poster mm -hmm. and overall? And so I factor in a lot of things. Um, <laughs> I still don't know what to do for X because there was only one band from the '80s with the letter X, and that was XTC and. I don't remember any of, I think I know one of their songs, but, you know, sometimes there's just bands where you're just like, eh, I don't really... Okay, you're done. Okay. This is a watercolor block. It's glued down on all three sides. That is correct. It is called a block when it's glued down like that. Um, there are videos on how to draw hair. Scott prefers to dry with reference. Draw with reference. Not dry, draw. Sorry, with reference. Um... Sketchbooks for alcohol markers. Check out the Ohuhu sketchbooks. That is my personal favorite because they come with the plastic thing in between. And I do think you enjoyed that one as well. Yeah. Um, let's see. No, he's not going to do Slayer for us. He traces all the time. No, it is not cheating to trace things. Um, Slayer was great. Why wouldn't I do Slayer? Eh, because there's too many other ones. <laughs> Um, there is a video on where Scott gets his photo reference. Also, if you go to the website, we have a bunch of stuff under resources about um, reference stuff. Um, no, he's not going to try a Bob Ross tutorial. Anything having to do with acrylics or oil paints, see Bethany Primrose. Scott hates acrylics. Um, how do you paint fire with watercolors? And he has tried gouache. Hold on a second. Um, fire with watercolors. You're gonna leave a little bit white. That's the hottest part. Then you're gonna then you're gonna go around that part with some yellow, around that part with some red, maybe around that part with maybe some blue. But basically, you're gonna just you got to work your lightest colors to your darkest colors. The marker he's using to doing the outlines is the um, zebra brush pen. All right, let's see if um, the uh, okay. uniball is. This person hasn't been able to get tested for autism because my psychiatrist say you don't look autistic. You need to find somebody else because people can't just look at you and say whether or not you're autistic. That is ridiculous. So you need to find somebody else who, if you, it's the same thing as going to the doctor and saying I have a pain in my side. If you, the doctor is like, ah, you'll be fine. Just don't worry about you're it. You're allowed to get a second opinion. You can but, get a second opinion. But, you exactly. know, I mean, uh, if they're a psychiatrist, they might have they a They looked at this person and said, you don't look autistic. That's ridiculous. But I'm saying, did they, did they, have they been treating this person? But I, Okay, anyway. If somebody says you don't look like something, I mean, it's like that That to me sounds ridiculous. I am not a doctor by any stretch of the imagination, but if you are not happy with that, get a second opinion. How do you do metal with watercolors? Oh, uh, metal is all reflections, really. Especially something like a chrome. Um, does the paper still warp when you use the block? 
yeah yeah it's it's um you can kind of see it's bubbling up a little bit but um, really just right here autism also presents differently for girls usually um did scott take a trip to the danger zone you guys are funny um can you try draw drawing with colored gel pens i don't think knowing that scott's tried all the gel pens that i have that he would enjoy those um, is the clock loud for the two of you because it's really quiet in the background for us it's fairly loud like not obnoxiously loud but I don't um, think it doesn't bother me but I'm yeah. not super sensitive to sounds I like it I like the clock I like being able to hear it our son actually fixed um, Bethany uh, Primrose has a grandfather clock and he went over and fixed her clock and her husband actually messaged me and said please thank your son for fixing our clock it's so nice to hear the clock in the house again oh, that's great <laughs> that's really cute yeah it was really sweet um, will you paint Venom for the new Spider-Man game I don't know I've never really been a big Venom fan um... torn between Paperboy and Animal Crackers fan art what do oh. you think Animal, animal crackers, crackers animal crackers and i'm not saying you should paint petunia the fat lady but you know i mean she's really there's more of her to love she was truly the star of the show she really was um have you tried english breakfast tea oh so many of them i have tried so many of them ruchi says it is ridiculous i agree with donna there is no look to autistic it's true um do you cut the page afterwards yeah, um, would you guys like to see it? Because I'm pretty yeah. much done. Yeah, you'll use a palette knife and pull it yeah, out. Yeah, let me do one last blow dryer. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my cursor? Hold on. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> Let's see. No. You know, all of our boys, all of our boys, like I have so many boys. Both of our boys are um, artistic, but they choose not to follow their um, artistic passion. I think um, they've seen uh, so, us. And here's what I'm going to oh, do. Oh, Santa's here! Hey, Santa! Santa says, "Happy Friday, everyone! I hope that everyone is being inspired to create art." Yay! So you're gonna, you know, take a palette knife and just find that. What's a palette knife? Ask Maybe somebody Bethany. doesn't know. Well, you can take anything. You oh. could take a butter knife if that makes you feel better. Or you could take a... A ruler? A ruler, anything small enough. And okay. then you're just going to cut the, the the glue, which is like the most satisfying thing. Is it? I thought the most satisfying thing was finishing a painting. This is finishing. Oh, okay. Because now I'm done. Yay! Don, I've been crocheting for a long time now. And to answer your question about crocheting without a hook, you basically use your fingers as a hook with super bulky yarn, but it does hurt your, I'm assuming, arms. Wow. How about drawing Roxette for the letter R? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, could you do tutorials on the different body types, aspect, and different traits of body types? If there's a tutorial already, I'd be fine with just checking that out. Um, I could try, yeah. There's have something. you tried the new pumpkin spice chai tea latte at Starbucks? No, but I've heard that that's good. Um, and I heard that the pumpkin spice is out. And you know what's really funny? I don't even really like the pumpkin spice that much, but it just means fall's coming. So I want one. And that one, and then if fall's coming, then I get to have the sugar cookie latte for Christmas. So that's really, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really easy that way. Have you ever done a midnight background with cool colors with a character with warm colors or vice versa? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. I usually don't have too many backgrounds in my stuff. Um, yeah, well, yeah. the Art Nouveau stuff you do. Yeah, but it's mostly designy. It's not like a scenery. No, but, uh, I disagree. I think it makes the background, a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. I think well, I think these are getting faster because I think I'm finishing these in like an hour now instead of 90 minutes. 
So, um... Well, they're also small. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, you know? Because I have to go sign a bunch of posters now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you mean... It's really funny. I no longer have a dining room. I have a shipping station. It's really funny. Yeah. Um, but thank you. Amusing. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Uh, and and thank you along. for being patient with us with the shipping. We will ship everything out. Yeah, Donna's I promise. shipping a couple hundred every day. Um, it's just that you guys keep ordering them faster than I can ship them. We shipped out 200 and... I don't know, 40, 270, 200, I don't know, a whole bunch yesterday. And then we got 400 orders last night. And yeah. so it's a little, um, yeah, it's a, it's a little crazy. So um, thank you, Bethany. I will see you shortly. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, Santa so yeah. says, I love pumpkin spice. We are getting closer to Christmas. Only 17 weekends left until Christmas. Are you kidding? Only 17 weekends until Christmas? Wow. That, Why does that sound so short? That means only 14 weekends till my birthday. Hey, that's less weekends till my birthday than your birthday. Yeah. My birthday's around pumpkin spice time. It's very exciting. Love apple pie. Oh, I like apple pie too. Apple pie is very good. Um, no, thanks, Ruchi. We appreciate it. Did you sign one poster for the camera? Thanks for streaming. Love oh, sign one poster for the camera. Well, I have this one. Is just kind of. He's like, been practicing signing on one. one. But I'll sign it for you. You've only signed it a hundred yes. times. <laughs> that if the and pen of course works, it's not going to work. Yeah. No, of course it's not going to work. There we go. <laughs> But I like the, the copper or the bronze. That's the one I'm using right now. Which, of course, we can't get anymore. So there you go. Oh Otherwise, it'll switch. But it's still going. Um, All right, what's your we will take see. on Starbucks? I don't like that they're not nice to their employees. They are nice to, I don't know. It's a catch-22. They don't want their employees to unionize, and they give them some things, but I don't know. Um, anyway. It's all good. Thank you all for being here with us today. When are we going live again? Everybody wants Monday. to know. Monday. Monday, that's right. What Monday, Friday, so that right? would be JKL. So um, level 42, LL Cool J, oh, Loverboy, yeah. Yeah. Um, Lionel Richie. Mm -hmm. So we will see. We'll see who I do. Yeah. He And I'm telling you, he literally wakes up in the morning and goes, I could do this or I could do this or I could do this. Like he yeah. woke up this morning going... I just don't know who I'm going to do. Everybody wants this Kate person, and I don't know if I should do this, and blah, 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 blah. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> it's all good. Thank okay. you all again. Thanks for being here, guys. We will see you on my, my classmates. I'll secretly say hi to Scott. Kermito, do not get in trouble. Hi, classmates. Stop it. All right, bye, guys. And...